Hi, welcome to another installment of Aviat Network's instructional videos. Today, I want to walk you through an exciting new feature developed on the Aviat store, Split Shipments. With this new feature, you'll be able to plan your deliveries to minimize your lead times and align your delivery schedule with your business needs. To demonstrate this feature, we'll start the radio selection page displayed here. For today's demonstration, we'll be ordering 20 W10 radios, splitting a single order into two separate deliveries. As you can see, the expected lead times of each item are now displayed on screen, as well as the available quantity for each item at their lead time. Need to order more than the available quantity displayed? Not a problem. The Aviat store now dynamically changes the lead time based off of the order quantity. For today's purposes, we will keep each order quantity at 5. Now that we have selected our items, we may click Review Bomb to enter the Shopping Cart main page. Upon arrival at the Shopping Cart main page, we should take note of the order shipping status, which represents the overall expected lead time for the order if shipped in full. To analyze each part individually, we may scroll down and view the bill of material and the expected lead time for each item. In the event that we need to split the order, we may do so in the checkout phase. Upon navigating the checkout process, we arrive at the Shipping Information tab. The Shipping Information tab allows us to change our Ship To address by selecting the green pencil icon to the left. It allows us to change our Ship To customer contact by clicking the Select button here. And it also allows us to select our shipment options. Shipment options, by default, will show the order shipping status from this screen before. This represents the longest lead time item and the lead time of the order if shipped in full. If we wish to split our order, as we are in this demonstration, we'll click Split. Upon selecting Split as our shipment option, we are now navigated to the Split Shipment Configuration page, displayed here. Here, we will see our part numbers, descriptions, unit of measure, and quantity that we have ordered. In addition, we will also see available quantities of these parts in each lead time bucket available. We can dynamically change the values in each shipment or we can take advantage of our quick configure buttons on the top of the page. These quick configure buttons automatically do the math for you and assign this lead time to shipment one, if possible. By clicking next day, our order has now separated into two shipments with all available on hand in shipment one and the rest available in three to five days in shipment two. Now that we have configured both of our shipments, we may click Continue Checkout to return to the Shipping Information tab, where we see our shipment options now display as split. In order to modify the split after the fact, we may click Split Shipment to return to the Split Shipment Configuration page. For now, we'll click Continue Checkout and return to the Shipping Information tab. On the Shipping Information tab, please note, you will now see both shipments under Delivery Options. Shipment 1 next day shipment, and shipment two, three to five days, each with their own air and ground freight charges below. You may choose these independently of one another based on your business needs. And that concludes our demonstration of how to split shipments in the Aviat store. We went from ordering 20 WTM radios at three to five days lease time to ordering 20 WTM radios split into two separate shipments, 10 radios available next day, and 10 radios available in three to five days. Thank you very much for watching and choosing Aviat Networks as your microwave provider.